What's up guys? So this is uh, day one of a retaining wall project that we're working on. This is the job that I mentioned in one of my previous videos about the retaining wall that we're building on a creek. Let me show you where we're going to be working. So as you can see back here, the customer's yard has eroded pretty good. You see the fence right there? That fence used to run straight across. What's happened over time is this creek has, has shifted. It actually used to run up above on the bank on that side, but over time it's, it's worked its way this way and eroded their yard. So what we're gonna be doing is we're, we're building a ready rock retaining wall, which is a, a big block retaining wall. The wall is going to come from about this point right here, straight across, curve in, and go back to about the tree right there. So here you can see the layout of the wall. It shows the curve right here, and then it, it's going to do a 90 degree turn in. This shows the height of the wall. The wall is going to be about 10 and a half feet tall. Right here you can see the construction of it we're going to build this wall on a concrete footing this is going to be a 12 inch deep footing with rebar and it's going to extend out 12 inches beyond the front of the wall as well as behind the wall now we went with the concrete well the engineers went with a concrete footing over your standard you know compacted stone footing just because of it being on a creek the other thing we're going to do well, so the first plan of action is i'm going to dig out a like a ramp right here so I'm able to get the machine further down and then we we have about 120 sandbags we're going to build a coffer dam come out this way with the sandbags All right, so we got our ramp dug, you can see it right here. Corey's gonna bring down a pallet of sandbags and we're gonna start building the coffer dam. That was fun. Got our coffer dam built. We ended up using all 120 sandbags. This area down here was really deep. And then back up top, this side seems to be holding pretty well. I was actually the most concerned about that top corner because that's where the water is rushing from. But we ended up throwing a little bit of dirt on this side of the sandbags and it seems to be holding pretty well. What we're doing now is we're gonna dig out a little pad right here. So we're able to bring the machine all the way down and then that way we can start digging out our base uh, for our footing which is this big old clump of dirt right there.
What's up guys? So this is day two of our retaining wall project, our uh, Creekside retaining wall project, if you will. So today we're starting to dig down to the depth of the footing. Um, we've been here for a few hours. I didn't start recording when we first got here because it was raining, but the sun's out now and we're doing pretty good. So you can see here, it's a pretty massive hole. Um, as usual, when the engineers designed this thing, uh, they did it overkill, but what are you gonna do? He, Corey's down there digging. He's digging 12 feet, basically, from grade. Um, and I'll show you on the drawings real quick. I got him set up here in the shed, because like I said, it was, uh, it was raining this morning. So hopefully that's clear. So, Right here where it shows final grade, this is this is the bottom of the creek. So we have a one foot pad and then two rows of block that are buried under, under the bottom of the creek bed. Um, and this is a total of four feet. The whole wall all together, the wall is 10 and a half feet and then 12 inch slab. Um, so that gives us 11 and a half. He's digging about 12 foot from grade. So we might have to put some stone down there. But at the depth we're at, he's actually running into, it's a lot of small like river rock uh, and sand mixed in. So we may not have to add too much stone. All right guys, what we're getting ready to do is we, we, dug, we dug a hole right here, pretty deep. We're gonna drop the, the pump in, pump this out, and then we're gonna get the laser level out here and check the depth, see where we're at. I know we're gonna have to clean up a little bit right there along this side. But I think through here we should be pretty close. Then our plan is, I got a bunch of rip rock, which is like larger ag aggregate. It's like uh, it's like two to three inches. Um, I think it's one and a half to two and a half actually. Um, we're gonna put a layer of that in, and then we'll leave a, a pump, the small pump running in a pit to keep the water out, um, and. We, we did some adjustments with the creek here. We got this culvert pipe in. So we should get a lot less water running in to our, uh, to our trench. Um, so we'll get a rock in there and get, get our depth right and um, we'll be ready for concrete tomorrow. We got a rainstorm coming. But we're going to get our rock dumped. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. So today is a very exciting day. We're ready for concrete. It's been a heck of a battle, but we've made it. You see we got our rebar set up. We got seven pieces of rebar. That's number five rebar evenly spread out. That's what the uh, plans call for. It, it didn't call for any uh, pieces of rebar short ways, just long ways, but we put those shorter pieces in to keep it up off the ground. And uh, these, these pieces of rebar that are driven into the ground, we just have those there so we could make sure we get our even height across. So we got that green spray paint on there. That'll let us know we, we reached at least 12 inches. We did that in, in three spots, one here, one there, and then one around the bend. Um, and we'll just use that as a guide when we're pouring, and then we'll get in there with the screed with the level on it and make sure it's right on. There it goes. Keep it lifting.
All right, so this was our stick. We had our 12 inches marked on it. Yeah. We could see. Oh. <clears throat> well, we're gonna have to pull that out of here, but. You don't think we're getting it out? I'll cut it off. Watch your feet, man. We'll just look. I got it. He's down to the knee. Yeah, I'm up to the knee. Look at that. The green mark was like way down here. We got about 18 inches of concrete. It's knee deep over there? It's, it's knee deep. It's, it's 24 inches over there. Well, they got a thick deck. There we go. So we just finished screeding it. Got it all pretty much nice and level doesn't need to be perfect this is not like a decorative slab or anything it's just uh it's just a footing so as long as it's level we're good to go got a little bit of water sitting on top but that was because the concrete guy he he washed out right up here on the hill and it all just ran right down but we put in the high early in it so this is going to start setting up real quick so that little bit of extra water on there is probably a good thing so it doesn't dry out too fast so that's going to wrap up part one of this video Part two will start next week when we start setting the blocks on this. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll leave, um, I'll put a link in the description. Obviously it'll come a little bit later in time. I'm gonna post this video first uh, and then I'll, I'll put a link in it at a later date after that second video is done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already.